This is really nothing more than a public service announcement to tell you to watch Better Call Saul. For those of you that don't know, which is zero of you, Better Call Saul is a spin-off of Breaking Bad. It's actually a prequel and a postquel, which I guess they call a sequel, of Breaking Bad. Each season starts with a black and white episode of Jimmy, aka Saul Goodman, working at a Brugger's Bagels or something. I don't, I don't remember what the chain is. He's there, he's making bagels, and he's uh, undercover. Undercover is not the correct term, that's like what a cop does. No, he's the opposite of that. He's been in witness protection by, by another shady individual who has a vacuum store. He's got a new name, he's got a new job, he lives in a new state, and he's still incredibly paranoid that these guys are gonna get him. And while these episodes are awesome and completely confusing if you're watching this on Netflix, I'll get to that in a second, the meat of the show is about Jimmy, his past life character struggling to become a lawyer and impress his brother, who's honestly kind of a douchebag. The reason I said the black and white episodes are confusing if you're watching on Netflix is because Netflix likes to do a nasty little thing where they update their posters every once in a while, and they'll even put new on the side when in fact they're not new episodes. So every four or five months, a naive Adam wants to get his Better Call Saul fix, sees that updated poster and thinks, this must be new, I forgot what season I left on, so let's watch. And it takes me almost 10 minutes of black and white footage, which all kind of starts the same each season, to realize, oh shit, I already watched this whole thing. I believe they're on their final season. I've only seen the first half, it's phenomenal. Season five so far is phenomenal. Um, but now I have to wait like a common peasant for those that have cable TV, all seven of you, to finish with it so I can wrap up. I often get very sad, troubled almost, that I see so many comments on my channel and see how the videos do for Marvel shit and, you know, cape shit in general, and Star Wars, of course, that goes without saying, from people that just don't seem to watch anything else. So this is me saying watch other things. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, I mean, come on. Come on, what are you doing with your life? If you have, Give Better Call Saul a chance. It is not the same show, but it's got the same showrunners. It's got a lot of the same actors coming back. Mike is in the mix. He has an adjacent plot that sometimes interweaves with what Jimmy's doing. A fan favorite villain from Breaking Bad, Gus Fring, is here. We get to see how he rises through the ranks in the cartel as a drug lord, but more importantly, how he gets those restaurants up and running and, and keeps innovating in the chicken fast food chain. Look out, Chick-fil-A. I love Chick-fil-A. I, I celebrate their entire catalog of food. Outside of the lead characters, though, there are so many others that are just as interesting, like Kim Wexler or Nacho Varga. And Michael McKean as Jimmy's brother, Chuck McGill, is a powerhouse in this. His performance throughout this series is unrivaled. And that's high praise because this show is full of great performances, especially from Bob Odenkirk. Even though the show is once again Vince Gilligan's baby, it's in the Breaking Bad universe, if you must, it does have its own flavor. It's not as fast paced as Breaking Bad. There's not shock and awe moments on each episode. It doesn't feel the need to have to bait you into watching more. You want to watch more because it's interesting on its face. And of course, the production is top of the line. The way it's shot, the way it looks, the music, the creative camera angles, everything is just as good as it was on Breaking Bad. So if you have slept on Better Call Saul, and believe me, I know a lot of people that have, including my wife, who I'm, I'm constantly nagging to watch it at some point, and she will. We'll go back and rewatch this together because I'd, I'd like to see it over again. Please give it a chance and get past that first season. It is slow. It does really take its time, arguably a little too long for things to happen, but the payoff is worth it. Each season's getting better and better, and uh, I, I just want it to keep going. But I know eventually all good things have to come to an end. Let me know if you're watching it in the comments, or if you tried but just couldn't do it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like the video if you had some fun. Subscribe if you want to hear more about movies and TV-related stuff, and hopefully you'll join me in the future. Take care. Since you stuck around, maybe you're a fan of what I do and you're, you're trying to think of a way to show your appreciation. Well, I'm on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. You could join me there for just one dollar a month and say, hey Adam, you don't mean that much to me, but here's a dollar. That'll suffice. Or you can become a member right here on YouTube via that join button. You get badges next to your name in the comments below. For however long you stay, that badge updates. I think it's like one month, three months, six months, uh, so it's a little surprise right before your eyes. That rhymed for no reason at all. Okay, bye.